wrote this tutorial for those of you who have recently enrolled into the Corset Academy and subscribed to my newsletter, as well as for those who wish to have the full knowledge about sewing corset-based wedding and evening dresses. I will gradually introduce you to all know-how, step by step. Where does it all start from? Sure, it starts from a pattern. I hope you have already acquainted yourself with my tutorials on working with patterns and successfully managed to construct your first pattern off a corset-based garment using the draping method. I would really love to know what your impressions are, what results you have achieved, and whether you have managed to make a good and convenient pattern. I am sure you had to face serious challenges because it's not so easy to make your own corset pattern. To cut a long story short, I have a gift for all who have been trying their best and working hard. I have prepared a basic pattern for you, which you can download by opening the link enclosed with the tutorial. It is a basic dress pattern, and it is compatible with various techniques of sewing corset-based wedding and evening dresses. It doesn't matter whether you use the simplified technique or the technique for sewing a corset with quilted cups. This basic pattern can be used with all those sewing techniques. Moreover, you can even use it for an open back dress or a dress with raised corners for attaching shoulder straps at the back. There is only one limitation. It is a boat neck pattern. Therefore, it is only suitable for dresses with a wide neckline and not for dresses with shoulder seams. Do not try to convert it into a V-neck pattern by simply changing the shape of the neckline. It won't work. I will supply you with many patterns of various styles and teach you how to use them correctly in my further tutorials. I suggest we should start from the basics, your first pattern. My pattern is tried and true. It ensures a perfect fit. I will explain how to print it out and glue it together a little later. First of all, I want to teach you how to adjust the pattern after your client's individual measurements. The first thing you are likely to ask is, what size is this pattern then? What am I supposed to do if I need a totally different size? How can I still use this pattern? And it is these things that I will explain in the following tutorials. We will go through all stages of working with the pattern step by step.